Russia for everyone and fascism will not pass were slogans heard in the Pushkin Square in central Moscow. Several thousand people gathered there to protest what they called a racist mood among some of Russia's youth and lack of tolerance toward ethnic minorities. At this rally, for the first time, we officially acknowledge the problem of fascism exists in the country. We say it publicly. I hope the Kremlin will hear it and will not hush it up. Organized by rights activists, the rally had the support of writers, actors, scientists and opposition movements. Protesters say Russia is a multi-ethnic country and any flare-up of nationalism can tip the social balance and harmony. The rally comes two weeks after nationalist riots in Moscow and other Russian cities. They made people question whether the government is able to stem a rising tide of xenophobia. On December 11th, 5,000 ultra-nationalists and football fans clashed with police outside the Kremlin. They were protesting the death of a football fan in a street row the previous week. They chanted Russia for Russians and beat members of ethnic minority groups from the Caucasus. It was the biggest disturbance in Moscow in a decade and caught police off guard. Police should have acted more firmly when rioting began. They mustn't be sentimental when it comes to those who are involved in violent actions and rampages. While ethnic Russians make up four-fifths of the population, the country is home to 180 ethnic groups. And they say the Chechen war with atrocities committed by Russian troops has sparked a rise in xenophobia. Critics also blame the government for supporting nationalists to justify its policies. For the last 10 years, uh, the atmosphere of hatredness has been uh, pushing out of Kremlin all the way. All these uh, pro-Kremlin movements, Nashi, uh, and those who proclaim themselves to be the only patriots of this country, that's, you know, this whole idea that some people are better to be a better citizens than others, it was the idea that came all the way from the top of the society, from uh, uh, President Putin, uh, now Prime Minister Putin, first and foremost. In a recent question and answer session with the nation, Vladimir Putin called for a clamp down on extremism. He said the state must ensure order and raise police prestige. Svetlana Tikhamirova, Press TV, Moscow.